This is the second video in a comprehensive course on programming Microsoft Office with VBA. This part will be chalked full of simple Microsoft Word VBA examples to acclimate you to what is possible. The idea is to see working code first, then later the language concepts. I am using the Bible as sample documents. These documents can be obtained from http printkjv.ifbweb.com Open Genesis. To open the Visual Basic Editor, press Alt plus F11. Now double click on this document. In the center pane, type Sub Examples and press Enter. The VBA Editor fills in some code for you. Here's how to display a message to the user. Message box, Hello from VBA. With your cursor inside the code, press F5 to run. For each example, I will change the code inside of sub examples and then press F5 to run. Office applications register the user's initials. Initials can be included in signatures or document metadata. Let's display those initials. Inside sub examples, type message box application.user initials. With your cursor inside sub examples, press F5 to run. Office applications also register the user's name. Like initials, the name can be included in document metadata. Let's display the user name. Inside sub examples, type message box application dot user name. With your cursor inside sub examples, press F5 to run. OK, no more reminders about where to type or how to run the examples. Now there are many different versions of Microsoft Office, 97, 2000, XP, 2003, 2007, 2010, and 2013. New functionality comes out with each release, so your code may want to check that it is a new enough version. Let's see the version. Message box, application.version. 15.0 means Office 2013. 14.0 means 2010 and so forth. You may also want to check what version of Windows your VBA code is running in. Let's try this. Message box application.system.operating system. Windows NT? That's probably not what you expected. No, I am not running Microsoft Office 2013 on an operating system from over 10 years ago. This is not a bug though. The documentation specifies this result will be Windows NT or Windows. There are other ways to determine the operating system, such as Windows 8 versus Windows 7, and we will be going over that in later videos. So that's it for this time. Pretty easy stuff, right? If you have questions, just keep watching the videos. The point is to show examples first, and then with those examples in mind, I will go over the concepts in later videos. Next time, we will continue with more Microsoft Word VBA examples. Did you watch the intro video? Are you watching the videos with your friends? Remember, it will be much easier to learn by collaborating with your friends. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.